Uh, no, not Hello and welcome to Sea Gunsels. I am Woodrow and I'm just going to cut to the chase. It is very obvious that in the next few years, I don't know how many years that might be, that the LMA line will be shut down because of lack of passengers and that. So, I have come up with a pitch to turn the LMA line into a heritage railway because the nearest heritage railway to Melbourne is either Heelsville or Puffing Billy and those are quite a bit far away in the suburbs so I think um, a heritage railway closer to Melbourne would be a good idea and what better to do that on than the other main line. So I'm just going to go through the line diagram as you can see in front of you. We have Alamein, which would be turned into a souvenir shop and one terminus of the line. Ashburton, which would be turned into a viewing platform and a cafe. Burwood, which would be another viewing platform. Hartwell, which would be a viewing platform and a museum. Willison, which would be either demolished completely or a museum and viewing platform. Riversdale, which would be another cafe and viewing platform and Campbell which would be an interchange onto Metro and the trams to get into the city and stuff. And Campbellwell, obviously it would be sort of the same Campbellwell station that Metro use, so it would probably be set out some sort of like Castle Main, and this is the best one I have, but like Castle Main has two platforms here for V-Line and then there's Platform 3, which is still part of the station, however, it is used by the Victorian Goldfields Railway for their heritage services. So at Camberwell, these two, the island platform, would stay as Metro, with this one staying as, with Platform 1 staying as um, Flinders Street, and then Platform 2 with outbound trains, and then Platform 3. I think, since it's pretty separate from what would become the um, the metro station, since it's separate because it's not part of the island platform, it would be good to use this one as um, a platform for the heritage train, because they could also use the viaduct to get onto the Alamein line, which is a pretty big part of the history. But obviously, that would obviously take a lot of bribing Metro to give us that platform. Or give the railway the platform. The stock and the trains that would be used on the line would be the Hitachi. However, it there will also be trains chartered from Steam Rail and other heritage railways to be used on it as well. All the trains would be stored at the siding at Ashburton, but the reason why they closed down the siding was due to vandalism, so that siding would have a little like sound shed or something built over it to make sure that it can't be vandalised, but it's pretty long. The siding's actually quite long, so it could fit Hitachi's in there and any other trains that we wanted to have running on the um, line. And they would only be free car sets too, since the line is so short and would take not very long. Um, so yeah, that is it. So that is my pitch for turning the LMA line into a heritage railway. And also, by the way, all the train the trains would stop at every station from LMA to Camberwell. It would stop at every station to allow people to get off and do all that and tickets would be sold in the form of either a single ride a return trip or a day pass so you could just ride on the trains all day um and it would be completely volunteer run like most other railways so yeah that is my pitch for turning the yellow main line into a heritage railway i hope you did enjoy if you did smash that like button and subscribe Tell me if you want to know any more details about my plans, um, and if I've missed anything. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching City Gunzels. Bye for now.